Well, when I go into a movie about a true person, I look to learn something that I never knew. And this movie did that. So I can't be mad, right? Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Lee. What's about pretty simple premise? We are following Lee Miller when she was a semi okay, semi model is a completely wrong word because there's a scene in the beginning where Kate Winslow just takes off her top, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, like do people just randomly eat lunch with their boobs hanging out? Anyway, I mean, I wasn't complaining, <laughs> but anyway, so she was a model, and now she wants to go kind of behind the camera. And World War II is about to happen. And she's like, I feel like I got to do something. So she wants to go to the front lines. But the problem is she's in England. And the British are like, nah, no women in the front lines, the British say. But then she realizes, wait a minute, I'm an American. I don't follow the British rules, damn it. That's what 1776 happened. And she was able to go to the somewhat front lines. But of course, she kind of sneaked her way into the battles. And she saw some stuff. She took some horrific pictures. And now we are telling... Her story while she's getting interviewed by someone. So, did I like this movie? Like I said in the beginning, if I am looking for a movie for new information, this movie did it. Because I didn't know about her in the Hitler bat t- bathtub. I didn't know about her taking all these pictures. I didn't know her backstory. And some people might be like, it's a little bit superficial or surface level of what we're getting with her. I understand that gripe. However, we are going off of a cast of just everyone's already dead, right? You have the Andy Sam- Samber character, which I think it might be his real quote-unquote serious role. He does a good job. Uh, Kate Winslet's character, Lee Miller, dead. Alexander Skarsgård, husband, dead. Uh, I'm not going to spoil other characters. There's only one real character that is a one-two gut punch because you don't expect it. Because how the story is told. So I really like how they decided to write this movie. Because I was expecting. Oh okay that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know anything about Lee Miller. I don't know when this interview with this reporter is happening. But then when the ending comes. You go boom boom. And you're like oh. Okay. That works. And that made the story better in my opinion. So of course we're talking about this movie. Like I said you have Andy Samberg. You have Kate Winslet. You have Jack. O'Connor, you have Alexander Skarsgård, all do a great job, and I, I commend their performance with this. Uh, there are some serious elements of war, I want to call it torture, we could call it torture of what happened to the Jews in uh, just random rooms, raping of girls, things like that, and it's not afraid to shy to that, and you're just like, shit, um, that's pretty brutal. And there are interesting tone differences they decided to put in this movie about like, officers versus enlisted uh how people take war differently the because some people have seen so much where they're just kind of like shell shocks the wrong word but you know just like nothing in the eyes right then you have like an Andy Samberg character that kind of just breaks down because he realizes like all these people are like kind of like they've seen shit of course well maybe not some of the officers back in the day because they were kind of holding back it matters what, what you were in the officers. Anyway, um, but you're trying to get, like, you know, people killing people. And they're like, oh, next, next, next. But then you have other people that go and see the aftermath. And they just kind of break down like that. Uh, you could say some of the story elements are, you wonder what's real. I think that's what you say with some of the backstory and some of the side characters. Because Lee Miller does have a lot of European friends, right? And they're joining resistances. They're going to prisons. They're trying to, you know, defeat Hitler in their own specific way. And you get their story in the beginning. But then when she meets Alexander Skarsgård and they actually go to London, they split up. And that storyline kind of disappears. But then it comes back into fruition about an hour or more into the film. And you're kind of like, okay, what happens to these characters more? But that's all you get. So I understand that some of the side characters might seem a little bit, you know, shallow or you don't get a lot of information with that, which there is a reason for that because we don't have that information of who these characters are, what they're going to do, just because that's how it is in real life. Because when you're in war, there's no like social media back then. You have 
you know, pamphlets falling from the sky. You might have, you know, telegrams, stuff like that. Some phone calls here and there, but you ain't getting instant gratification of where someone really is. And when it comes to the actual look of the movie, I think it really looks well. I think it's a good, technically crafted film. I think this movie did come out in a couple film festivals in 2023, if I'm not mistaken. And it took a whole year to get showing. It's kind of crazy to me how some movies get made and it just takes forever to, you know, hit the streets. And this is probably one of them. Uh, like I said, some negatives you could say is you're wondering where the story is going on some of it or how it's told. And that might be a little bit confusing for some people of like why we're telling it this way. But I do think when you get to the very end, it really connects overall. So just wait. I know it's a two hour movie and some pacing issues might be here and there of like, what are we actually trying to say of her story? And I understand that because, like I said, a lot, Lee Miller was a very close niche person. She wasn't so public that she wanted everyone to see what she was doing. Okay, that's a lie. She did want everyone to see what she was You know what I'm saying? Like, she wants people to see her work, but her as a person, she was kind of close. She didn't tell people who she really was. But when she took pictures, she wanted people to see what was happening. And here's another thing about censorship. You're thinking, what are you talking about? British Vogue wanted to censor her work. And so the British Vogue office did bring it to the Americans at least. And the Americans did publish it. Same with today now. The British. Hide the memes. Hide talking bad about the people that aren't from here. Or we're going to arrest you. But if you rape someone who's from here, you're going to get a less sentence. Censorship. America, don't go that route. I know where you have, you know, one party, Walt Harris, <clears throat> who are like, misinformation, the government should stop it. Oh, really? Misinformation of WMDs? Hunter Biden's laptop? Y'all think the government's really trying to be truthful to you? Anyway, Lee, I think it's a good movie that gives you the right information for what you want to know about Lee through her photography career in World War II. If you're expecting more of that, you're not going to get it. But that's the point of this movie, to tell one specific portion of her life and how it shaped her as a human being. So Lee will receive... A three and a half out of five of futons, which equals at 70%. Let's see what the critics news scores gave this one. Critics is 62% with 93 of them. Audience score at 92% with over 50. Critic consensus. Kate Winslet's gripping performance in the title role helps elevate Lee beyond his disappointingly conventional biopic trappings. I mean, I'm going to have to say I disagree with the conventional biopic trappings. It's one of the things where it's like, Nah, how it's told, I think, is a little bit different and more fun. And, I mean, like I said, she was a quote-unquote sheltered person. She didn't want to tell who she was. So, it's hard. To, you don't want to Hollywoodize this story. You don't. So, anyway, 92, 62, 70. Chase Lock here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things, Blue Futon Topia. You, Blue Tony, take a watch of Great Down for watching. Take tomorrow, week from month, and a year from now. I'll ever single freaking one of you. And, my God, if World War Three happens... Oh, God. Oh, God.